I'm not trying to make a joke, but I do anything for love, but I won't do that. And it shows a bunch of women licking on this woman. You won't do what? <laughs> a threesome? <laughs> what? what? What does that mean, but I won't do that? What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to the music reaction. This one's a big one, as it will be, I believe, my third meatloaf song officially here on the channel checking out now i had mentioned before in the past that i don't know meatloaf music whatsoever i know him from fight club and i know a lot of you guys are going to be like what the disrespect but ever since i've been introduced to his music i've really fallen in love with the big guy now i can't say 100 if i haven't heard this song i don't think i have but the songs previous i thought i had heard and i didn't at all whatsoever i know that they were part of the same live show or whatever and a lot of you guys have been giving me great trivia along the way by the way so i'll leave those if you guys haven't seen them down in the description below so you guys can check them out after this one but i do anything for love but i won't do that i definitely recognize that hook like in my head you know when you kind of read the title out you're like wait a minute i think i might have heard this never heard the full-fledged song as this official music video is seven minutes and 40 seconds don't worry i'm not gonna pause it i'm just gonna be you know maybe offering thoughts along the way and definitely my thoughts afterwards so enough talking let's get to watching but before we do if you guys want to show love and support the channel make sure to hit that big thumbs up and consider subscribing today where i do more reactions like this and live streams here on the channel all right flix talkers so without further ado meatloaf i do anything for love but i won't do that and once again, I don't know if this was later in his career, earlier in his career, not really sure. Not really sure where the other records fell in line too. So we'll have to get into that along the way. I've traveled across the universe through the years to find her. Sometimes gonna go, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. God, too soon, my friend. I don't read that fast. Sometimes going all the way is just a start. Okay. Oh, so we're getting a full-fledged music video. Like a mini movie almost. Okay, this is definitely 90s vibes. voice man and I'll take a vow and seal a 
I'm not trying to make a joke, but I do anything for love, but I won't do that. And it shows a bunch of women licking on this woman. You won't do what? <laughs> a threesome? <laughs> Why? What? What does that mean? But I won't do that. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what. But I won't do that. You know, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. You know put it all together with the visuals and the actual song itself. Okay, I'll get into it. I'll get into it. That's the last time I'm pausing, I promise.
Wow. Okay, so the end he got me. Because it's like Ugh, hold on. It's obviously like a Beauty and the Beast situation, right? Wasn't expecting the beast to change into a prince, right? Or a king or whatever you want to call it, you know? But that was a cool ending because it hit me. It just adds to like the conclusion, the the fairy tale ending and stuff like that. And that was cool. That was cool. Like some of the lyrics, maybe I didn't understand completely. I didn't understand the uh, gem or whatever that he gave her in the beginning, but you know, she was led to him. And of course, you know, when it's revealed that he is like a beast, a Frankenstein character or whatever, you know, where the town is after him or whatever. And it seemed like the cops were after him and this, uh, uh, some kind of, uh, Dexter <laughs> the detective or something was after his ass, you know, uh, for some murders, possibly blaming it on him. It's all, it's always like, you know, uh, you know, the town going after the, the town beast or whatever, right. A uh, type of situation. And, um, he was able to escape with his love because she accepted him. And that was cool when she like embraced him. And then like he just changed from the beast to like, you know, I guess maybe what he envisions himself or what he used to be. You know, who knows? Maybe he had a curse on him. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking way too far into this. I watch a lot of movies, guys. So I'm thinking like, like movie style. And uh, yeah, that last part got me. The visuals always usually get me more than the music i would say so sometimes watching a music video is a little more impactful at least that's why i get really sentimental with movies and stuff like that and emotional with movies because when a director can invoke a certain scene just or, or, or invoke a certain type of emotion from you just from showing you something you know and then if they do it the combination with the music hey sometimes you have you know 100 percent tears and, and heartbreak and just all these emotions pouring out great song i definitely heard that hook before never heard the full-fledged song though so i'm glad I'm, I'm i'm able to experience these meatloaf epics these rock epics and a lot of you guys are saying rock opera in the in the in the chat in the chats and then in the in the comment section absolutely love them thank you guys so much for for indulging me by the way through my tears if you guys think I'm a wimp or whatever you want to call it, I don't care. Music is amazing and music is so special to me. You know, there's always time and place, you know, uh, 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 for emotion to hit you. And music is definitely the thing that does it a lot for me. So you guys let me know. Meatloaf, I do anything for love, but I won't do that. What specifically does that mean? But I won't do that. I guess you can interpret that in many, many different ways. But what do you guys think of this song? Where does it rank in your Meatloaf discography? What other songs should I be checking out from Meatloaf? Leave it in the comments down below. I would love to hear it and possibly I'll check it out for the channel coming up. Uh, and if you guys did appreciate my reaction and thoughts, please let me know by hitting that big thumbs up. Consider subscribing today where I do more reactions like this and live streams here on the channel. All right, Flix Talkers, till next one, I'm gone.